how long ago, how many cold moons and hot suns have looked down, down on this scene since that time. It was a time before the white man came to our land and destroyed our people. It was a time of long ago when Indian men were strong and dared to hunt the bear and bison herds. The rivers flowed with fish, and the hunters always brought back food for our people. The gods of the sky gave us rain, and the gods of the earth lifted our corn high toward the heavens. In this time of long ago, our young men learned early in their lives to depend on a faithful friend, the horse. Every young brave grew up on horseback, and to be a man was to be a hunter. Few red men are left now, but the same round red sun reminds us of the times of our youth. The same round red sun lights the path of memory. The same wind sings of the days of life on the plains.
Will it be soon, my father? When the shadows lengthen, nature cannot be hurried. Is the mirror in much pain? My son, every living creature on our earth is born through suffering. Come, it is better to leave her alone. I hope you will not be disappointed in the colt. I will not be disappointed. It will be beautiful, with brown and white markings like the shadows of clouds in the snow. <laughs> Does Nishka have the power to see into the future like old Nopowalo? No, but I have seen the past. Remember when the bay mare disappeared and the moon of the high water? Yes. I was hunting on a far bluff and saw her running with the band of the white stallion. If the cold is from the seat of the white stallion, you have made a bad choice. Why, my father? It will never submit to training. You are the son of a chief, and our people will judge you by the horse you ride. I know, but I will train him. May the Great Spirit forgive your foolish boast. But I have asked the Great Spirit to send him to me. In a dream, I have seen myself riding a painted colt. He galloped with me across the sky, racing like the wind. That is the horse of the Tosa. Strange he should leave his post. That mark. Who would have done this? We live in peace. speak clearly. Our lookout was struck down as he started to signal the approach of the big humps. Then an enemy hunting party crossed the river boundary and drove the herd away. Yes, that is plain. They cannot have gone far. We can overtake them before darkness falls. Wait, my friend. Wait. Does Hevatanu not intend to avenge the death of our brother? Certainly. But he does not intend to lead our bravest warriors into ambush. You suspect a trick. A snake trick. They want us to cross the river into their hunting ground. Why else would they send the horse of Latosa with a death mark on him? Our chief speaks with wisdom. The snakes are a powerful tribe, treacherous and cunning in the art of war. We, the Arikara, are few and peace-loving. But we are not cowards. No, we are not cowards. The snakes have broken the treaty made with our fathers, and we will take to the war path when we are ready. But first, we must train our young men to become warriors. I know it is hard to wait, but I swear a solemn oath that our lances will drink the blood of our enemies. Three men to remain as sentinels. Tomo, take the place of Latoso. Rono, go to the top of Blue Peak. And you, Kitomo, hide yourself in the Rock of the Eagles. If the enemy is sighted, send up three smokes. If the buffalo come, give the usual signal. Be wary and on your guard at all times.
thank you, great unseen one, for sending Mishko the pony of his dream. I will call him Makapo, for he will be as fleet as the wind and will belong to Nishko and no other. It is better to disarm a man and count coup than to kill. Now you try it. See how fast Makapa runs? Is he not beautiful, my father? Yes. There is no doubt that he is the son of the wild stallion. Pride is strong in his neck. Pride and spirit. And rebelliousness. I would not have him otherwise. The son of a chief does not want a meek, gentle horse. Has Nishko tried to catch him to break him to the mastery of the buckskin thong? First, Makapa must be given his freedom so that his spirit will not be broken. Then I will teach him to have confidence in me and me alone. I want my will to be his master, not the thong. My son has knowledge, but the task before you is difficult. There is much wildness in that coat that you may never be able to change. I am not afraid. That is always a good answer. Come, it is time to return to the war game. Future warriors of the Rickraw, listen well to the rule. Your leaders will guide you to hiding places known only to them. You will remain concealed until the war horn sounds. When you meet in combat, whoever is struck by a lance or an arrow is on his honor to fall. In hand-to-hand -hand fighting, whoever receives the first blow not parried by his shield must go down. The victor may then take the grass scalp of his opponent. The side having the most scalps wins the war arrows of victory, and the leader receives the thunderbolt. This is an important day in your lives. The time will come when you will take the war path with us, fighting side by side against our real enemies. May you be courageous always. Nishko did well in the game. His mother is happy for him. Being the son of a chief means nothing. He does not prove himself worthy. Today, Nishko earned the respect of every man of the Rickrods. Even Tana was proud. You have a fine coat, but he is still wild.
lucky in the war games yesterday. Yes, I was lucky. Everyone knows Wakopi is the stronger. Wakopi is older, not stronger. We shall see that when we take the rights of becoming men. Does Nish still think he'll ever be able to ride that little devil? In time, and he will be the fleetest horse in the herd. But you will have to wait until many snows have come and gone. Nishko has patience. How would you like to have a pony you could ride now? I will trade you to Mongo for him. I want no other pony. Kamago is trained. My father will give me another pony. And when the big humps are sighted, we can join the hunt. I will wait until Makapo grows up. I will give you my pony and two feathers of the war eagle. When I am worthy, I will wear a headdress of him. Nishko is a fool. It is only a wild, unweaned colt. You may never know the pleasure of a horse between your legs. I will know. Makapo is mine. No one else will ever ride him. Hey! for the son of Sudamarcus made you. You should have taken it. Why, my father? Our people admire a shrewd traitor. When I ride Macapo's back, they will know that the greatest shrewdness was not to trade. I fear your future rests too heavily upon that painted colt. Still, it is your choice. Yes, it is my choice. The head next. Uh, may your judgment be as good as your aim. Look! Big humps! Big humps of excited! I wish the painted coat were big enough to take me. He will be big enough when Mishko is big enough. Oh, powerful one ruler over the lives of men and animals, let many buffalo fall to the bows of our hunters. And that there will be meat in our lodges and skins for our robes. Help us to live in peace and harmony. But if our enemies cross the boundaries marked by our fathers, give us the strength to drive them away. May the sun never hide his face from his children, Eurycora, and leave them in darkness. You should be going with us. Remember, he who eats when he can hunt is no more than a beggar. Keep your face bright, my son. In time, you will be leading the chase. Where are the buffalo, Motopi? I first saw them on that distant hill, but now they're hidden from view by the trees along the river. Are there many? I counted only seven, but there may be more. Even a few are welcome. Shall I join you? No. Go back to your post. Here, take this. If our enemies are sighted, it was warning.
to break through before our enemies attack again. Thank you, Nish. Go for what you have done. It is not bad. Was anyone killed? 
No, but three girls were carried off. This is a sad day for us. I will take the horse of Latoso, find my father and tell him. Does Mishko not know that the raiders stole the horses that were left? And the bay mare, too? One caught her with a noose and dragged her away. The painted coat? The painted coat followed the mare. I must find him. No, Nishko, wait! Nishko, come back! <laughs> Tano was angry with his son. You should have waited for our return. Forgive me, my father. I had to look for the painted coat. Nishko has not enough knowledge of the forest to travel so far alone. I followed the trail of the raiders until darkness hid it from view. A blind man could follow a trail like that. Then we can pursue them tonight? What makes Nishko think he is going with us? I, I see that Wakopi brought a riderless pony. That is for Nishko to ride back to the village. Tell it. Go to the summit and tell our lookout we will rest here until the dawn star appears. Did you kill many big humps? There were none. It was a snake trick to lure us away from our village. They stole three girls and the rest of our horses. That is why we have taken the warpath. The painted colt followed the mare. His feet are too tender to travel far. I must go with you and find him. Nishko is not yet a man. Neither is Wakopi. Wakopi killed his first enemy today. The snakes had us surrounded, and this one was climbing up a rock to kill me. My arrow struck him in the throat. How did you feel? How do you think I felt? I was happy it was him and not me. told me you saved the sacred relic from being destroyed. And your mother said you left without taking a sleeping robe or provisions. That is true. Ava Tana was glad you did not forget your bow and arrows. I suppose you killed a rabbit or a fat mouse for your supper. You should have not stopped to hunt. Oh, have not eaten yet? Nothing since early this morning. He who travels on an empty belly makes good speed, but he will not go far. Here, share mine. The next time, bring your own. Please, let me go with you. No. But you are taking Wakopi. Wakopi is a year older than you are. And we are short of warriors, so he would stay home, too. I beat him in the war games. This is not a game, son. Now hold your tongue and let me get some sleep.
back to the village, son. Forget that painted coat. I cannot forget him. But there will be other coats. Not like Macapo. At a time like this, one coat is of small importance. Get my lens. forced us to take the warpath. They've invaded our hunting grounds and murdered our hunters. They have burned our lodges, carried off our daughters, and stolen our horses. Now we will avenge these wrongs, or mingle our shadows with those of the fallen. The warpath can bring honor and glory, or it can bring disgrace and death. As for you, my son, do not carry a heavy heart back to our people. In time, you will be the leader, and the leader must set a good example. He must think of what is good for the tribe, not of his own wishes. Go back to the village, and let no man speak our names until we return singing the song of victory. Send me a sign, great unseen one.
Sophie, it is I, Mishko. I mistook you for a snake. Why did you disobey orders? The Great Spirit sent me a sign that I should find the painted colt. The painted colt has wandered off to die. Copper will not die. Have you seen him? Yes. He is not far from here. Where is our war party? Uh, they left me with the horses while they went on foot to scout. What happened to your pony? He broke his leg. I had to send him to the land of the setting sun. You must do the same for the painted coat. No! The couple will live. still beats. Do not hope. Death is close. You can see it in his eyes. No. Makapo is weak and cannot walk. His spirit is strong and he will live. He has no desire to live. The swift plunge of the knife would be merciful. No. It would end his suffering. His feet are worn until the red shows through. He has been long without the milk of his mother. I will find the mirror and nurse him back to strength. Mishko must face the truth. Even if our warriors succeed in taking the snakes by surprise, they will be heading back quickly. The colt cannot travel. Then I will stay with him. Alone? In the land of our enemies? Your father would not permit it. And you must not tell him or anyone else that I am here. I cannot leave Makapo. Not only does he belong to me, but I belong to him. If he dies, then I must die too. Understand? Yes. Wakopi does understand. If the mare is found, I will turn her loose when no one is watching. She will find the way to her cult. We must not die.
long time before the snakes cross our borders again. I wish I could have been with you. These will help dry the tears of the widows and orphans. You must drink. More, Macapo. More. You're getting well.
must be careful, Makapo. Better we stay hidden until Makapo is able to travel. Stay free now, Makapo. Soon we will reach the river, where we will quench our thirst in the cool, clean water. My son has returned. I'm sorry to have disobeyed you, my father. But I had to bring back the painted colt. No, Powalo. Offer a sacrifice to the Great Spirit for bringing my son back to me. <coughs> Prepare a feast. <laughs>
brown and white In a dream I rode you Into the blue moonlight Painted pony, hey, hey, leap across the dawn, swift as an arrow we travel, swift as an eagle in flight, over the sacred mountain, into the starry night. Do you want Wakopi to help you? It is finished now, thank you. I mean with the training of the wild ones. Oh, no. No, that is something that Nishko must do alone. The quickest way to break him is to chase him on a fast buffalo pony, then throw a noose over his head and stop suddenly. But it would break Makapo's spirit. Is that not what must be done? No, no, he, he must be trained through love, not force. <laughs> the autumn may not be long enough for that. <laughs> Run, Makapo. Run as far as you wish. Soon you will learn to run to Nishko and not away from him. This is a very old story told to me by my grandfather when I was a small boy. I want you to remember it exactly as Nopawala tells you. For then you can tell it to your grandchildren, and they will repeat it to their grandchildren. And that way, the legends of our tribe will never die. In the beginning, there was no sun and moon and no stars. Everything was in darkness. The Great Spirit created the earth floating on the water. And then he took clay and made the first man and breathed life into him. And so that man would not be lonely, the Great Spirit made the first woman and breathed life into her. They were both very happy together, and they both fell asleep and dreamed. When they awakened, they had received gifts. An ear of corn for the woman, and a bow and arrows for the man. In their dream, they'd been taught how to use them. The woman planted the corn. The man went out to hunt. After a long and fruitful life, the first man and woman died and were taken up into the heavens, where you can see them today. The first man is the morning star, and the first woman is the moon. was collecting herbs and she was bitten by a rattlesnake. Hi, where is she? They have taken her to the medicine lodge.
Where's my mother? She is very ill. But the shaman will cure her. Let us hope he can. An evil spirit has entered her body, setting it on fire. She has lost the power of speech and cannot even raise her head. I will go to the sacred mountain and offer a sacrifice to the giver of life. Great Unseen One, you are our father and protect your children from harm. You know all things, so you know my mother is very ill. Our shaman is old and wise, but he needs your help to heal her. I send my best arrow into the sky. Let it fly far. Let it pierce the evil spirit that has entered her body. My thunderbolt, how well it is made. Strong, supple, how beautifully it is decorated. No one in our tribe has one like it. Now it is yours. So are the arrows. my humble offering, most powerful one. And make my mother well again. Glad to see you here. My mother must be better. It will take a magic more powerful than mine to save her. But I have been to the sacred mountain and made an offering to the great spirit to help you. Perhaps a supplication of a boy will be answered. Did you give your most cherished possession? I broke my thunder bow and war arrows and left them as you have taught us. Were they what you prized most highly? They are the most valuable things I own. Things of material value are not always enough. One must sacrifice what one loves most dearly. I love the painted colt more than anything in the world. But surely the great spirit would not want his life. When I was a boy, I had a faithful dog who followed me everywhere. He hunted with me, swam in the river when I went in, slept by my side. One day, my father was brought in gravely wounded. He had been gored by a mad buffalo. Our shaman treated him with herbs, sang healing songs all night long, but my father did not get well. The shaman then told me that I must sacrifice whatever I loved the most if I wanted to save my father's life. So I took my hunting knife and killed my dog. I could never bring myself to destroy my couple. It was a hard decision for me to make. My father recovered and lived to be a very old man. Perhaps such a great sacrifice is needed now. Is my mother so near the coming of the Grey One? We have moved her out under the sky so that her spirit will pass into the air like smoke from a campfire. with 
heard. What must be done must be done swiftly. Go! You. She is going to live. Thank you, great unseen one. Thank you. It seems my son has at last seen the wildness in the painted coat. When the moon of the falling leaves comes, he will be big enough to rise. Yes, my father. First comes the sun dance ceremony. Are you preparing yourself for the ordeal of becoming a man? Ishka will be ready. Good. When it is all over and your wounds heal, we will go hunting together. Now is the time. Future warriors of Derikara, this is your last night before your final rite. For four days and nights, you've gone without food and water. Tonight, you will go your separate ways to the secret places that have been selected for you. There, you will stay until the dawn, without resting or closing your eyes. You may hear a voice or see a vision. What is revealed to you will determine your life from this time on. Tomorrow you will become men. The pains you will suffer then represents the suffering of all mankind since they first disobeyed the commands of our Creator. You must bear it in silence, with courage and with fortitude. Life is prolonged by right living. Go now and keep your heart strong.
now over. Not one flinched or cried for mercy. You are now men, and you shall have a feast becoming to men. Now. Mine too. I hope we go on the war path again. We could take many scouts. I do not think I would like to kill a man. Not even an enemy. They are men, like ourselves. <laughs> the snakes are not men. It is already the moon of the falling leaves. You know what that means? The cold maker will be coming soon. No. It means that soon Nishka will climb upon the back of the painted coat. I would like to see this. You'll be thrown off. Well, I expect to be thrown many times. But in the end, I will ride him. I do not see your colt. Sometimes he wanders with the mare into the thicket. She must have put up a good fight. Mountain lion. A big one. The tracks are fresh. Do you think he also killed Makapu? No. He would have eaten the more tender flesh if he had. And why did not Makapu return to the herd? He must have been frightened away. Then we must find Makapa before the mountain lion does. We will need more than our knives to kill a mountain lion. Give us success in the hunt, mighty one. For without your help, we cannot survive. Send a strong wind so the buffalo will not scent the approach of our hunters. For there is no meat in our lodges, and our people are hungry. You who appear only in dreams, grant us this favor so that we may continue to receive your blessing live the good life. Ivatano is glad his son returns in time for the hunt. Here is my best buffalo pony for you to ride. Forgive me, my father, but I cannot go with you. Why not? A mountain lion killed the bay mare. I'm afraid Macapo is in danger and I must find him. I'm sorry, very sorry. I would go with you, but it is the duty of the chief to bring down the first buffalo. May the great spirit guide you on your quest. I must leave right now, my mother. This time you must not go without your hunting shirt and your sleeping robe. The nights are turning cold. Yes, my mother. And you must take some pemmican in case game is scarce. I cannot wait longer. I, I fear for the life of the painted coat. Hey! <laughs>
And Copper must have joined the herd of the white stallion. In a dream I saw you, painted brown and white. In a dream I rode you into the blue moonlight. Hey, hey, painted pony. Hey, hey, leap across the dawn. This is for you, Macapo. Mishko knows what is best for you. The couple will be happier to leave the wild herd and go back home with Mishko. Then you will never have to worry about going hungry when the snows come or being captured by the horse hunting Comanche.